so I'm at my mom's house with the just close family and a couple friends um, sitting there, you know, the anticipation's building. Uh, I see the Virginia um, number come across my phone and I, I, I turned speechless pretty quick. <laughs> you know, I, I answered and um, it was Coach Gruden. And, uh, he asked me how I was doing and then he, he told me they were about to take me to the, the next pick and I didn't really know what to say or what to do or act. You know, there's, you don't exactly go through that uh, situation any other time in your life. So um, I was just, I was pretty, pretty well speechless. You go through this whole process and um, everything's kind of from afar and then you get here in person um, and it, it kind of hits you and things, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy exciting. It's, you know, it's, you starting to realize your dreams are coming true of getting your foot in the door on a, with the NFL team. Well, there's a lot of people that, that didn't even have me on their list heading into the draft. Um, so being able to, to show up and, and uh, show everything I can do would, would definitely be some, some good redemption. The Redskins, like they were one of the teams I was expecting um, or hoping to hear from. Um, just looking at the other guys that I'm coming in with, there's a lot of really talented guys. Some guys I played against in college, you know, the Ohio State guys, I, I saw them for a long time at the college level. So I, I know what they're about and what they're capable of. Um, so I, just looking around, there's an extreme amount of talent. It's, it's exciting. I like to watch movies. Um, I'm not I'm not so big on different uh, series or new series at least. I watch a lot of reruns on uh, Netflix and Hulu and stuff. But I don't have HBO, so you know, I'm not up on uh, Game of Thrones or anything like that. I'm a huge dog guy. I actually started a dog rescue last summer, so I spent a lot of time with my dogs. So my mom, her whole life, has been rescuing and rehoming dogs. Um, so I got to the point last time I. I didn't really have much coursework left, um, so I had a lot of free time. So if I wasn't doing football, then I, I needed something else to do. Uh, so I decided to start a 501c3 nonprofit. <laughs> I'm just ready to put the helmet on and, and do what O-Lyman do, just, just get to work.